upset. My chest feels great. My stomach does not. Fuck. <clears throat> crazy that when you first start off in fitness on bench you like long for the day to hit 225 because it's such like a benchmark for everybody but now you can just rep it out it's just crazy looking back at how far you've come so the reason why well first of all incline bench Definitely the most important important workout for chest, in my opinion. You want to have a nice, full chest. So for you guys, if you're on like a low-cut shirt or a V-shirt or a V-neck, you want to see that upper chest. And the upper chest is the weakest part of your chest, so why not make it strong as fuck? Therefore, overall, your chest will be a lot fuller, stronger, supple, and juicy. <laughs> but nah, I'm doing incline on Smith Rack today because, one, I don't trust any of these other guys in here to spot me on normal barbell bench. But this one allows me... To go to failure and not worry about crushing my face so for those of you who are curious my inclined barbell bench max i think i have a video of it up on my instagram i'll, I'll try to plug it in on this video i think it's like 315 or 330 i can't remember but on flat bench i stopped going past 315 a long time ago and incline i try to keep it under 315 but i really really love incline movements but anyways, I'm just gonna do a shit ton of reps at 225. If you ain't doing chest flies on chest day, what the fuck are you doing? Probably my, one of my favorite workouts to grow my chest. I always try to do it towards the end though. So chest day is concluded and I have a gnarly pump. Look at this. I can literally, quite literally breastfeed. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But you can definitely rest a water bottle on these milkers, that's for sure. I don't know why I'm using this whack choice of wording. But anyways, there's actually one thing I want to talk about in conclusion of this video. Today at the gym, Next to me, I was doing like these laying down like weighted press flies, like this cool exercise. I honestly probably should have filmed it. But uh, anyways, the premise of this is I get what people like they have, you know, uh, obligations, whether it's jobs, sports, self-discipline, whatever it is you got to do to work out by yourself. You don't like training with other people. It's a distraction, whatever. I am a huge advocate of working out by yourself and just pushing yourself. But there were these two guys on the Smith rack that used it after I was done. And they were doing sissy squats on it. And one thing that I absolutely love, the, the video cut out, but the premise of what I'm trying to say is these two kids, they were pushing each other. This one kid did 10 sets. He's like, all right, two more, two more. And then he did two more and his partner saw that he could do like five more. And his partner's like, no, 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 five more. You got this. And the guy lifting was like, yeah, you're right. So basically you guys get what I'm saying. Like, like I miss that. And sometimes, I don't know if you guys can relate, but I, I miss having a training partner that has and matches the same intensity and discipline as I do. Um, obviously, work out with whoever or by yourself. It is what it is. But I just, I miss that. So if you have that, tag your friend, your homie, your gym bro. Uh, share the love with him in this video. But other than that, that was uh, today's chest day vlog. So yeah, stay blessed. Have a good day.